Hello everyone, this is Ayad Boudiab, I'm a Senior.NET Application Developer and in our um, videos we've been discussing ASP.NET 4. As I mentioned to you, I'm covering all the basics of ASP.NET, so there are a lot of items to cover. Some of the videos are uh, basic and some others are advanced. And But uh, obviously there are a lot of uh, the things, almost everything that I'm discussing in those videos are the ones that you're going to encounter in your day-to-day uh, -day programming with ASP.NET. So I hope these videos uh, are always uh, helpful to you. And again, you can um, always drop us lines on Mr. Bull website if you have um, any questions or um, you know, you'd like us to cover a specific subject that you could be interested in. Um, in today's video, I'm going to uh, cover just a few bits and pieces. But I'm still uh, relating these uh, concepts to the button because I've discussed the buttons before. And uh, since they are crucial to the... Um, to the forms and the way the forms are being submitted, uh, there's a few items that I did not cover yet uh, regarding the buttons. Um, the specifically, I'm going to talk about the default button as far as the um, form is concerned. The second thing I'm going to talk about is you know, when the user clicks on the button, but in this case, on the client click on the button, it means what happened on the browser side before it being submitted to the server. Uh, the other, th the third thing is what happens if we put some properties to the button that the uh, ASP.NET would not understand completely but they would be crucial to the browser. We'll see how we can do that. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is when we deal with the command uh, buttons with the command name and command arguments and so on. Okay, So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to create a very simple form with the one text box and a button and we'll take it from there. File, New, website. I'm going to uh, stay with the ASP.NET website and in here I'm going to name it button uh, properties for lack of a better name and then I'm click I'm going to click OK. I have my simple page, come over here, I have my site, in this case I'm going to add new item and let's name this one default button, although I'm going to change different things on it, but that's called default button and then you notice in here I have add for the page. That will give me the simple page that I'm interested in. Now let's add a couple of things so we can get our work done. The first thing, let's drop a label. Doesn't matter here what I'm looking for, just let's say first name. And uh, let's drop a text box. Let's give it an ID. TXT first, that we always do. And then let's add a break and drop a button at the end. Okay. That's what we have so far. Let's go ahead and save it. Look at the design. I have a first name, some ways for the user, their first name, and then the actual button. Now, the uh, when, when I fill out this information, I can right click on the page, view in browser, page loads, give me the text box where I can enter my information, and then I can click on the button, right? Okay? Simple, click on the button. Okay? That's usually what we do, right? There's nothing new here. Let me go back to the code a little bit, and now let's see how we can give a default button to this form. What do we mean by default button? The default button is that the user could fill out the information on the button and then hit the enter key. Instead of clicking the submit button, the user can click the enter key. If you specify a default button on your form, when you enter the uh, when you hit the enter key, the form is submitted. Notice here. That's my form, right? You notice it? That's the form with the ID run at equal server. And then uh, let's uh, look in here for default button. 
you notice that here default button for the actual form default button equal and then I can specify here that my default button is button 1 that's the default button that the user can use when they hit the enter key so by having specified the default button I right click on the on the page view in browser now I have the uh, uh, the text box being displayed okay I go to the text box and I type my name notice I'm not clicking on the button the mouse is away from it and I'm going to hit the enter key hitting the enter key you notice down here at the bottom at the bottom of the page that my form have been submitted just to be more clear on that I'm going to uh, drop a label at the bottom here and name it LBL result view source 